Hello and welcome to the Shea Homes Space Builder demonstration video and tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest new features on our website, the Shea Homes Space Builder application. To get to the application, simply go to SheaHomes.com and navigate to one of our plan pages. If you're not familiar with our website, simply place your mouse pointer over Find Your Home, move your mouse pointer down on the list of states to find the area you want to look at, and click on that area. That's going to load a list of communities. Scroll down the list, find the community you want to look at, select it, and that's going to load a list of plans, and from there you can pick one of the plans on the list. Once you're on the plan page, you'll notice a large button with a green background that says Explore This Floor Plan. Click on that to launch the Space Builder application. Now through the magic of video editing, the application has loaded for me. In reality, it takes about 5 to 10 seconds for it to load. Please give it some time, it will be worth the wait. Let's get started with some basic navigation. You'll notice when I mouse over a room, uh, the room gets shaded and it also calls out the dimensions um, of the length and width of the room that you're rolling over. That's a, a nice feature that gives you an idea of the size, how it relates to each other, and if you know the room dimensions of where you're currently living, you can compare to see if it's any bigger. The next thing you'll notice is that if you double click on a room, it pops up a little uh, menu that you can click on fit to view and that will zoom you in to a closer view of that room. You can also drag, so I'm clicking and holding and then I'm dragging the floor plan if I want to look at different parts of it. And then if I double click again, I can reset my view uh, and, and zoom back out. The other thing you'll notice is that there are hot spots that's these exclamation points in some of the rooms. So again, if I double click on that room, it's going to show me additional information. And in this case, the garage has a two foot garage extension option. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but as I move my pointer over the option name, it's actually changing the floor plan below. And then if I click that uh, to check the checkbox, it's going to make that permanent. Now, when I close this window, that option is going to stay on the floor plan. So I've added that option to my floor plan. Let me zoom in so you can get a better view of it. So in addition to things like options that move walls and change the dimensions of rooms, there's also other features and gallery items that you can view on the floor plan. An example of a feature here in the watch room is the 46 inch flat panel TV. So I can click on that um, and take a closer look at the item that I'm that I'm viewing. You also notice that this particular room has a gallery tab that will give you an interior view of that room. In this case it's one of the models so it's it's fully decorated and looks real nice. And that gives you the the basic information about how to navigate, move around, look at the different room options and look at the features and gallery information on the floor plan. Now we're going to move over to the left part of the page where we have various menus that really are just a different way of viewing most of the same information. For example, the top one is floors. Now this is a single story floor plan so I've only got one floor to view. Um, so there's nothing for me to change there. On the options, uh, the first thing you'll notice is elevation images. So if I click on an image, it's going to load in all the elevation images and highlight the one that I've selected. So this allows you, and if you also want to move things around, you have the ability to do that. I can come in here and I can check out all the different colors that are available for this particular elevation. So I can pick out the color combination that I like most and save that. I'm going to go ahead and close that. The other thing you can do on options is you can flip the floor plan. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the garage orientation from the right side to the left side. And you can see as I do that with the elevations even, it's going to flip the actual image for me to show me what it would look like if my garage is on the right like it is here, or if my garage is on the left like it is here. And below this, not sure if you can see that or not, but the floor plan image below is actually changing also. 
as are all the elevation images up here. So one, one click and everything changes around for you. The other, the other options you can see in the, in the garage, the extension that I added from the floor plan is showing up here. So I can change that from here if I'd like or add it. Next is the features menu and that lists all the other features that are on these hotspots in the floor plan and in, and one in this case that's not and that's the let it slide feature so let's click on that and if I look at some of the other rooms um, I see the solo tube that we already added as an option which gives me some more information and gives me a nice view of what that of what that looks like and, and how it works now if I click on gallery that's going to load all of the images that are available to view for this floor plan. So for example, we've already looked at this image. That was the watch room image. And we can also see there's one of the bathroom or splash as we like to call it. And then finally cook. So it gives you nice high resolution images uh, to give you a sense of what those rooms really look like once they're furnished and uh, completely built out. The final set of tools for us to review are over here on the far left, and those are your zoom control tools and uh, the help button. So if I want to incrementally zoom in, I can use the plus sign here to slowly zoom in, or if I want to go in all the way, I can click on max. And if I want to go anywhere in between, I can just simply use the slider, or I can go all the way out to minimum, which gives you uh, kind of a bird's eye view of the whole floor plan. And let's say I want to get back to where I started, then I simply hit reset and then I'm good to go. Now the other button here is the help button and that just gives you um, a brief explanation of the three buttons we just looked at. And for the basic floor plan functionality, that's about it. In part two, we're going to explore the space planner tool and we're going to bring floor plan exploration and space building to a whole new level.